So yeah, bat wheel. Uh, this one you need to practice. Uh, you should need the, the the whole level, but the first uh, part part here is really really important to know the path. And I should hopefully remember now. And let's see. Don't move too much with the left analog. Right here, you want to take the right path. Left. Go here, and don't do what I did. But I still survived because, and then to right, right, left. I did. Okay, but not good. If I if I didn't have much life from the last level, I would have died there. So let's restart. I'm gonna do it one more time and hopefully not get hit. Remember to go left here at the end too. Do you see? I did it this time. And again, uh, it's worth mentioning again. I'm talking too much, making the video, if I want to do well. Because every time I talk, I, I lose focus and it's so easy to do my mistakes then. But anyway, excuses. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to show you how to beat this level from here now. I never take this ammo. Here, I want this. So I just whip this one, going, and then whip again. Yeah, and then going up like, not like that, but like this. Up here. Uh, now I have four blaster, but if you, if I didn't die, I would have much more, and this level would actually have been easier in a no death run because I would have more ammo. So I just made this level a bit tougher by dying. But anyway, it should be fine. I have 1000 normal shot, uh, so here I would use this ordinary enemy ammo and uh, yeah, just kill that enemy. No need maybe, but I, if this was a no death run, I want to kill them. Get this ammo. Now I only have 400, 500 of this uh, normal ammo, which is very low, but in a no death run I would have so, so much more. It would be so much easier. So I might fail now based on that. Here, I, it's actually a bit hard to to whip that hook. So if you struggle, yeah, now I made it. But if you struggle, don't feel too bad. Uh, try, just practice it. It's not too hard though. This one is easily killed by whipping. Don't be too close, but like that. And be careful because he spawns something that will hurt you. So don't stand too close. You can shoot it too. But it takes longer time and you want to save ammo, especially if you, especially now since I don't have much ammo. Uh, and now, left, right. This one is annoying, these green ones. You can shoot them to make them disappear a little bit, like that. You see? And then I go here, I want this ammo. Jump up. I wait for this one to point to the right, then I go over it. Jump in between them. Normally, I wouldn't get hit there, but now I did. Remember that path? Left and right. Uh, so here, if you, if you are worried, you can actually kill this one. But it shouldn't be too, too important. Uh, it's not important to kill that thing up there. So uh, now I wasted some ammo, but I actually have 1600 now, so I should be fine. Just go here, like this. You can shoot up and then kill it, but it will land on you if you keep standing still. Which is dead. Go up here. There you go. Don't go to the top one there, hook. And don't stand uh, idle like I did. If you have a no death run and want to play well, what you should do is... Okay, I'm gonna show you. Switch to this weapon and shoot the blast, like that. And then move forward. Or just jump over this green one and then kill it. But kill that beehive, but you might get hit. So what I did was change to the blast, shoot it, and then jump over quickly.
And here you might fall down, you might glide to the left or right. Now I'm standing perfectly, so I can actually stand on it. But So yeah, but he will automatically grab uh, this round thing I'm standing on. But yeah, uh, be aware of that. And here, don't stand too close to this thing, but try to whip it like this. They one hit kill you. So this is so annoying if you die here. And I actually died on the very last one when I had the chance to get this achievement. I try to jump over one instead of safely killing him from distance. And this one you can hit with a blast if you time it well. So I'm just jumping now because you that way I don't fall down. Now I shoot and I hit him. Good. I don't want to jump whip kill that one because you might get killed yourself. And I don't want to time it when he disappears because you might time it wrong and then he show up and then you die. And you don't want to do like that. And you don't want to do like that. What the heck? T 10 life left. <laughs> Here is the worst spot in the tie game for me. Uh, don't be too far away trying to whip this hook. Don't go too far because you will fall down. But somewhere here, maybe closer, practice this one if you're like me, failing it. Don't press the whip button too late. Because if I miss that one now, you will die, no matter how much life you have. And this cost me some uh, no, no death runs. So yeah, practice that one. I hated that jump. It, it, you, it's pretty easy, but I failed there. Oh, see, and there is a worm here. If you have a no death run, just shoot it like this. I don't even want to try to whip it now. I want to play it so careful as I can. You don't want to mess up. So shoot it until it's dead, like that. Then you shouldn't die. I only had 22 life here, but that's because I, I just want to explain things. I didn't pay attention, got a lot of damage that I shouldn't have gotten normally. You see those enemies there? There are two left. The first one I killed, the second one killed me one time, and that was the last obstacle for me to beat this game without dying. And that was so frustrating. So I'm gonna jump to the next one. And you don't wanna fall here, because then you will die uh, if it doesn't grab this thing. I keep jumping like this, because that way you shouldn't fall down. You see? And doing that, I try to shoot at the same time to kill this, but I can change to the blaster. I have two ammo left, and you should have more. I wanna shoot when they show up. There, maybe. And if you stand and shoot too long, he will fall down, maybe. So I keep jumping and shoot sometimes, like this. Ah, uh, not like that. Like that. Now I hit the first one, good. And this second one actually killed me one time when I had a no death run. So now, I'm not gonna gamble. You can jump to the next one, jump over him, if you time it now. Let's see. Now we show up. You can jump over him there. But, I'm just too afraid. Uh, you should be more careful. And you can do like this. You see, I hit him. So I, I think it's more better to do like this. If you're, if you're afraid of dying. Uh, but you can also fall down here, so it might be a bad decision. But I, I recommend doing this, because I died go, trying to jump over him, go past him one time. So no, I recommend doing this, even if it takes longer time. And yeah, try to time it so you shoot him. But you have all the time in the world, because we are not playing the speedrun. So I just want to show you guys now. 